okay so now in this video we will work on this login form dot dart but first we need to create a new folder and that folder name will be let's just say validators and inside this folder we will create a new dart file and its name will be validator and right here we will create a class and the class name will be validator and in here we will say static then we will type string then question mark and right here we will type validate field and then inside this brackets we will add curly brackets and right here we will type required string then value and after this we will say if value dot is empty so if the value is empty then what we will do first let me add curly brace right here and then after this okay so if the value is empty then we will return some text and that text will be text field cannot be empty and then we will return null and after this we will add two more validators the first one will be if the user leave the id form empty then we will show that user id cannot be empty or else we will show that a uh, user id should be greater than some specific characters so for that we can just simply copy this paste it down below add a curly brace and inside this curly brace we will add a if else condition but first change this name to validate user id right here we are uh, validating the field and then right here we are validating the user id so we will say if the uid dot is empty then we will show user id cannot be empty then in the else if block we will check if the uid dot length is less than or equals to 3 or let's just say 5 then right here we will return that user id should be greater than 5 characters and after this we will return null and for now we don't have the uid so that's why it is showing this error but once we type the code for the uid then that error will be gone so don't worry about that okay so now right here in the validators we will create another dart file by the name of uh, let's just say database so the first variable will be this one which is firebase firestore the underscore firestore will be equals to firebase firestore dot instance and you need to import this at the top as well so make sure to import this to remove the errors and then after this we will create a collection inside our database and that collection name will be notes so it is like final collection reference and then main underscore reference will be equals to file store dot collection notes and after this right here we will say class database then curly braces and right here we will say static string then question mark and then we will type user id and we will add a semicolon and after this we will go back to the login underscore form dot dart file 
and for the login form dot dot file we need another file and right here we will create another dot file by the name of custom underscore form underscore field and if we press enter this is inside our main lip folder as you can see right here and right here we will first import the materials dot dot library and then we will create a stateless widget and we will name this as custom form field and right here what we will do is to move this down and that one as well okay so we will move this down and right here after this key we will add all of the data for the custom font field okay the text editing controller the focus node and the text input type input action and all of that and also the label the hint and all of that so we will create all of that right here so we can say required text editing controller then controller then required focus node then focus node and this is for the label this is for the hint so just pause the video and type all of this and after this we need to give this the values okay this is observed is capitalized max and is label so we will do that right here so if we move down first we will add the email controller and the keyword type in protection label hint and validator and for now let's just remove these two because we don't need them okay so now we need to give these values so after this super key key right here we will say that final text editing controller will be underscore email controller the focus node will be underscore email node and okay we remove that email so we don't need that too as well okay so we need the keyboard the in protection the label hint and is observed it's capitalized and all of that so make sure to type all of this and then right here we will return a text form field and inside this text form field i will copy and paste some code so right here as you can see i paste it okay so if we start from here the max lines are max lines and the keyboard type is equals to this keyboard type is observed is equals to that okay so we have all of this then right here the cursor color is colors dot yellow accent and its value will be equals to underscore validator value then inside this input decoration we are checking if the is label is enabled okay this means if the label is enabled if the user didn't type anything then the underscore label will be null and the label style its color will be yellow accent and the uh, hint text will be underscore hint and the text style will be colors colors dot gray accent it is showing an error let me try again okay so let's just use this one which is blue gray and right here as well blue gray okay so after this if the user and put a wrong password or uh, press enter uh, leaving the text field null then the text style will be changed to red accent and the font weight will be bold then this is the style of the focus border as you can see its color will be amber accent and width will be 2 and the border radius to circle will be 8.0 then this is for the outline input border as you can see circular will be 8.0 and then its color will be blue gray 
this is for the error border it will be also the same but we change the color to red accent and this is a focused error border so as i told you if the user enters something wrong then the borders of the text field will be changed to red accent and its width will be 2 so our custom form field file is now created and see you guys in the next video